Hello and welcome back to On Point HQ. Uh, I thought I would do another short video on how I go about painting um, 10 millimeter American Civil War figures from Pendraken. Now the last video, uh, <laughs> some time ago now, was about how I painted the, the Confederate rank and file soldiers. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I paint mounted Confederate officers. One thing I constantly had to tell myself when painting at this scale is that I'm not looking for massive amounts of detail but aiming to pick out the parts of the model that stand out. I also want to paint these very quickly. Now for the three figures that I'll show you in the video I think I spent between 25 and 30 minutes on painting all three so not a lot of time at all. I'll often paint these in between other projects um, when I'm waiting for models to dry. So on to, on to the process. Now the first stage is to is to prep the figures. Now Pendrack and Sculpts are excellent and more often than not there is very little flash to clean off um, now when these are prepped i, I map them to bases um, now for my single um, american civil war figures i always use round bases from warlord games the next stage is to undercoat the figures uh, i used a, a 50 50 mix of vallejo dark rubber and white and when this is dry, I add a, a wash of watered down Norn Oil across all of the models. This wash at this stage helps pick out the details, but it also provides a good base for the, for the, 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 the grey uniform to work on later. When the wash is dried, it's time to, to start painting the horses. I always aim for a mixture, a mixture of brown horses um, as they contrast well with the grey uniform. Um, I used a mixture of black brown, khaki grey and sunny skin tone to create three different shades of brown. Uh, when these were dry, a wash of Agrax Earthshade was applied to add a bit of depth and shadow to the horses and this is applied across the whole, the whole figure. The next stage is to add further details to the horses. I start with very basic highlights of the horse's coat by adding a drop of sunny skin tone for the original colour and just pick out the upper parts of the horse. I also add highlights to the tail and mane at this stage as well. I then use dark rubber for the feet and the horseshoes and use ivory to add an off-white patch to the horse's legs and on the head. Um, for the mouth and the, the muzzle area I use a mixture of, of sunny skin tone and Mephiston red to, to create a slightly more pinky colour. Lastly, I use a mixture of burnt umber and sunny skin tone to paint the, the bridle and the saddle. I then applied a wash of Reichland flesh shade to the mouth and the bridle, and with that, the horse is finished. It's now time to paint the officer. Um, I used another mixture of dark rubber and, and, and ivory this time and add basic highlights to the uniform, again followed by a wash of known oil. And I, I keep the majority of the uniform grey. The, the face is painted in sunny skin tone, um, followed by a wash of Reichland flesh shade before using basic skin tone for very, very basic highlights uh, on, on the face. Um, I then use flash git yellow to paint the collar of the tunic. For the scabbard, holster and saddle bags, I use burnt umber with a small dab of sunny skin tone. Uh, the boots are painted black and the sword, hilt and stirrups are finished using natural steel and that finishes all three models. So that's, that's how I paint mounted Confederate officers really pretty quickly. Uh, like I said earlier, there's no more than 30 minutes put into these. Um, I mean, they're, they're very, very simple, uh, but when based in the same manner as the rest of the army, I think, I think they'll look fine. 
but I, I do have to keep telling myself they're only 10 millimeters and have to resist the urge to, to really put lots of details onto them. But I hope you found the, the video useful um, when painting your own um, 10 millimeter American Civil War figures. Well, thanks for watching and as always, take care, may your dice roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.